But I was talking to this individual anyway, and they said, I would never take the mark. Even, even if I don't make the rapture, I, I, then I definitely know that Christ is real. Well, think about it. The church is still here. Christ has not raptured us out. Yet we're all been uh, quarantined into our homes pretty much because of this uh, virus. And, and, and I understand that. that I, I, and I'm not even against that. We've got to protect uh, each other. We've got to make sure people ain't getting sick and spread common sense. And God gives us wisdom. wisdom and the Bible said we're submit to uh, the uh, government authority over us. Uh, so I'm not even complaining about that. But what I am saying is just think when the church is gone, how is it, how easy will it be for the Antichrist to swoop in and get people to take the mark? Because even in this situation and with this virus the way it is, uh, we're free and careful. We look for our hope in the government. And we look for, for our hope in our money and our possessions. And, and really our hope is in Christ because no matter what, the Bible says we're just passing through. The Bible says absent from the body is present with the Lord. This body is going to die someday. But I'm going to live forever, and i got two choices. It's either heaven or hell, and I want to make heaven. And Jesus is the only way into heaven. He is the only hope. He says he's the only one unto the Father. And so he's the hope. And what hope do we have to offer to the lost? And so I, I, I think about that individual saying, well, I would, you know, when the rapture happens, I just won't take the mark. Well, look what's happening under what's happening right now. And under this distress, and the church has been quarantined, and we're not opening the building right now. And I know that we're to be the church, and we're being the church in the in the in the neighborhoods, and we're ministering to one another, and and that's exactly what we need to be doing. And I believe we're going to come back together in corporate again soon and very soon. But my concern is for the lost, because once the church is gone, there's no light in this world, and it'll be very easy for the Antichrist. To manipulate people to take the mark because even under this circumstances even even under the 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 duress of this virus how easy people are turning to the government to help 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 and do 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 and 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 i and that's what their job is to do is protect the people but it will be very easy very easy to get people to take the mark just think about what's happening right now just think about it let me read this and then i'll, I'll just want to pray in Revelation 13, 16, and, and I'm going to read from the King James Version. It says, And he calls us all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Verse 17. And that no man might buy or sell, save that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that has understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is six hundred and three score and six 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 there's going to come a day that not this virus but there's going to come a time that there's going to be some distressful time on the earth when the church is caught out of here and there's no light and there's no hope and there's no preaching of the gospel. The Antichrist is going to step in and say, I, I, I got the answer, but you're going to have to do it my way and you're going to have to take my mark and you have to do the government's way and you're going to have to do the beast's way. And without the mark, without putting it on your hand and without putting it on your forehead, you won't be able to buy a sale. And just think about it, when people knew about this virus and how it swept in and how even all the toilet paper disappeared. I went into the grocery store not too long ago and, and, and there was no bread. There was, there was just nothing. I mean, things just disappeared even in this trying time. Could you imagine what the church is gone? The hope of glory is gone because Christ lives through us and we bring the light into Christ. We bring the light of Christ into the world, excuse me. And when the light is taken out, the church and the power of the Holy Ghost is gone. Listen, all hell's going to break loose. And the only hope that the world will have will be the government and the Antichrist will take advantage of it. 
Oh, how we really need to be sharing Jesus with people right now, saying you need to know Jesus. Because, listen, we live in the last days. We're seeing it. There's been earthquakes in diverse places, pestilence all over the place. Listen, we need to know that there's been hard times across this world recently, and we see the signs. We can know the signs. We, the Bible said we don't know the day or the hour, but there's signs. Jesus didn't even know the day or the hour he would return. Only the Father did. But there's signs. Listen, let's start winning souls. Don't never say, well, I'll wait till the rapture happens and, and then I'll know Jesus is truly Jesus and he's, and then uh, I'll t I will never take the mark. Well, I'm telling you, it's pretty easy to get everybody separated and segregated and get them uh, quarantined in their home, including the church. And again, I ain't saying anything bad about that. What I'm saying is with the church being here and the power of the Holy Ghost still here on the earth and presence on this earth, the light's still here through us. The hope of glory, Christ Jesus, lives through us. And once it's gone, it'll be pure darkness and, and pure confusion. And people will turn for whatever help because then it'll be uh, uh, wanting to uh, try to protect themselves. It'll be trying to, well, they just want to conserve themselves. They want to preserve themselves. It'll be that mode of pre preservation. So whatever it takes to preserve themselves... And that's including taking the mark. Oh, how we need to share Jesus in this time. Oh, how the world needs Jesus. He is the only hope. He is the only light. He is the only deliverer. And he's the only one will ever get you out of here. He is the only one that can keep you out of hell and keep you from getting a mark. He, Christ Jesus, is the hope and glory. He is the salvation. He is the light. He is the life. He is the healer. He is Savior, and He is the Son of the Most High God. He is the God of, of our salvation, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I just had to share that today. It was on my heart. It's been bothered. Well, it's been on me for about three or four days. So let me pray for you. Father God, in the name of Jesus, everybody who watches this video, I speak healing over their bodies. I pray and plead the blood over them. I pray that if they don't know Jesus, today will be the day they turn to you, oh God, because without you, they will not make it. If you if you was to come tonight like a thief in the night, you said you'll come. And listen, you're coming like a thief in the night. Nobody knows when you're going to show. And we, the Bible says, be ready. Watch. Watch and be ready. We need to be watching, Lord. And I pray people will wake up and watch because, you, God, you're going to send your son back. Jesus, you're coming back. And so I pray for people who don't know you will come to find you even as they watch this video. I, Lord, if there's anybody sick that watches this, I plead the blood over them. I, I curse the very root of any sickness, any virus. I speak life over them. I bind and rebuke them in the authority of Christ. I plead the blood over each and every party. I pray good health, wealth, and prosperity. I pray for, for everything to come back together. I pray for peace and that everything will come not only back to normal, but God, you will prosper everybody after this is over. But God, let us use this as the opportunity to see we need to get ready. We need to get ready because you come like a thief in the night and, and you say that we will watch and we're to be ready. So, Father, I thank you. And I praise you, Father God, for giving us the signs. You, you give us signs. Turn here. There's danger ahead. Get off here. You're going, there's, there's no bridge ahead. So get off here. So, God, I'm asking that people would get off the road of this world and get on the highway to heaven, which is Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. May the Lord be with you.